Hi, this is George Kilpatrick. Welcome to Inspiration for the Nation, brought to you by the United Nation Enterprises on Enterprises.com. So glad that you could be a part of our conversation today. We got a jam-packed show for you today. So much to get to on the program. We'll be talking with Tim Penix. He's the co-chair of the Micron Community Engagement Committee. They had a big meeting uh, this Wednesday at the uh, ITC High School in Syracuse, where community leaders and everyday folk got together to talk about the priorities for the $500 million investment that Micron will make in the community. What do we think the priorities should be as a community? So there's a round table of individuals talking about that, and Tim Penix will have more on that. We'll hear from Amanda Nobrega. She's with the Alzheimer's Association. There's some promising new drugs that's just been approved by the FDA. What does it mean for individuals who are dealing with Alzheimer's disease? We'll have the answers for you as well. And something new is happening at the Great New York State Fair. Ty Shaw will be in. He's the new superintendent of the brand new Asian Village, and he'll tell us what to expect this year. He's got a lineup that's going to knock your socks off. In our Community Inspiration Hour, we'll be talking with the president of Onondaga Community College, Dr. Warren Hilton. He's got some things that you need to know, including the partnership with Micron and a new degree program that, if completed, and we're talking about with just one year of, 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 of classes, you could potentially make $100,000 if you're hired by Micron. Think of that. And if you do a two-year, you get a certificate. If you do a two-year program, well, you'll have to find out what he says you can make there. Then we'll hear from uh, Raekwon Pride Green. He's the executive director of Blueprint 15. They got a block party coming up this Tuesday, but he's also going to update us on the progress uh, Blueprint Print 15 is making. As a matter of fact, they're about to move, not they, but in partnership with the Syracuse Housing Authority, they're about to make a big move on one of the housing complexes. And so what does that mean for you? And what does that mean for the residents who live there? We'll have all the details coming up here on Inspiration for the Nation. Of course, we're here every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. broadcast on Power 620 and everywhere live on the iHeartRadio app. And if you miss a segment, uh, you can also catch us everywhere you get your podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, and guess what else? You can also catch our episodes on inspirationforthenation.com, YouTube, you name it. We are here for you. We're here to deliver for you the very best in conversation. All right? So with that being said, uh, make sure you listen to Inspiration for the Nation uh, every week and we will now continue on uh, with the broadcast, and we start with Tim Penix, co-chair of the Micron Community Engagement Committee, Inspiration for the Nation. 